if enthalpy is about energy, then entropy is about possibilities. So it's something that's unrelated to energy directly, but still affects the free energy. So what is it? Well, the, the equation for entropy is given here. So it is the Boltzmann constant K, which is just the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. So one way to think of it is as the, it, it's the gas constant per molecule instead of per mole. And then the natural log of W, and W is the multiplicity. It's the number of ways to make the same state. So what does that mean? Well, let me give you a simple example. So here we have two particles that can either be together, bound, or apart. And we're saying nothing about the interaction energy between them. That could be zero, for example. We're just talking about whether they're together or apart, and what, what are the possibilities. If we build a simple lattice model so that the particles can only be in these boxes, and if we restrict ourselves to seven boxes, then if we look at this state, the state where they're together, where they're in adjacent boxes, there's six ways of, to make this state. So here's one where the particles are in box three and four. They could also be in one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five, five and six, and six and seven. Right? But they can't be in seven and nothing. Right? So there are six possibilities for them to be together. If they're apart, and so by apart we mean that there is at least one empty box between them, then there is 15 ways of making this state. So here you have to sit down with a piece of paper and work all the possibilities through, but you'll find that there's 15. So there's more ways of making this state than there are of making this state. So the entropy of this state is higher than the entropy of this state. So the entropy change on going from here to here is positive. So another way of saying this is that two particles has more entropy than one. But it really is all about the statistics of the problem, the possibilities. So entropy also has four contributions. There's the translation, rotation, and vibration uh, contributions that we're used to from the enthalpy. Uh, and then there's also a conformational term, which we'll talk about more in, in, talk more about in later videos. The main thing here that I want to emphasize is that um, whereas in enthalpy, the dominant term tends to be the one that has to do with the molecule, which in the case of entropy is the conformation. Uh, when bonds are broken, the dominant term is usually the translational term. Okay? But the net effect is the same. The entropy increases when bonds are broken. And that's what we saw in the previous example. That is because there's more, usually more ways of making the state when the bonds are broken compared to the number of ways of making a state when the bonds are together, where the bonds are unbroken. So you see here, here we have two examples where you break a bond, a covalent bond or a hydrogen bond. The entropy is relatively large and positive. So the entropy of this is higher than the entropy of that. Uh, and that is mainly due to the translation. So there's more freedom to move if you have two particles, because they have two particles have more entropy than one particle. And so a good way of thinking about entropy is freedom to move. More freedom to move, bigger entropy. Okay, so here's a simulation that I've used in the previous video on enthalpy. And the question is now, as you watch this video, is what happens to the entropy? the standard entropy. Does the entropy increase? Does the entropy, is the entropy unchanged? Or does the entropy decrease for this process?
Okay, if you need more time, uh, press the pause button. Or if you want to watch it again, uh, scroll back and watch it again. When you're ready, when you think you know what the right answer is, then press play again. Okay, ready? Let me start the video. Okay, so the right answer is C. The entropy, the standard entropy decreases for this process. And one way to think about it is that you go from two particles to one particle. So in the beginning of the simulation, right, you have two particles, this one here and then the protein. And as you form hydrogen bonds and other kinds of intermolecular interactions between the molecule and the protein, then it really effectively becomes one particle. So you go from two to one particle and particles and the entropy decreases. Another way to think about it is that as you form more and more hydrogen bonds between the two molecules, the molecule and the protein, the freedom to move becomes less. All right? So in the bound state, the one we're starting to see now, the molecule has less freedom to move, therefore it has less entropy. And therefore the, entro is the, therefore the entropy change is negative.